Hey guys, so my cheeky little getaway up here in Lamington National Park was supposed to be a relaxing one. You know, a chance for JB to rest and recoup before he gets on with his normal action-packed adrenaline pumping stories. <laughs> but since I've been here, I've ziplined 180 metres through the trees, taking a ride in the rainforest while proving to Jack that I was more extreme. Totally succeeded, by the way. Oh, and they held the largest bird of prey in Australia. This is so cool. Yeah, safe to say I haven't really been taking it easy, but today is my last chance just to step away from all the action. You know, enjoy the simpler things in life, like this. Uh, JB, you, you know you're doing motorbike riding today, right? <laughs> no, I'm not. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. I'm not, am I? So it turns out the sound I was joking, it just wasn't funny. And the motorbike riding thing is more like a nice relaxing stroll through a pretty beautiful rainforest. Phew. All right, Glenn, today I'm after a nice relaxing stroll through the rainforest, nothing too crazy. Hopefully see some wildlife along the way. Is this the best place to be? Well, this is the place. Lamington National Park is ideal home to, to our vast array of wildlife here, especially the birds. And um, oh, some of the magic birds here are whip birds, some of the bower birds, grey strike thrushes, beautiful yellow robins and rose robins. Yeah, oh, it's, it's magic place. Which means you never know what you're going to see when you take a nice little stroll That's through fine. here. Yeah, well, we might see some of these whip birds and bower birds. They know me, so you come with me and we'll see how we go. Fingers crossed. Okay. Lamington National Park is 20,000 hectares of cool and crazy stuff. Can you believe that this rubbish right here actually belongs to a bird? What? Well, it's a satin bower bird, and he's got this lovely blue sheen, but he's fascinated with blue things. So anything blue lying around, like the bit of rubbish, plastic you were going to pick up, that's prized possession to him. And so he builds this bower of sticks and he dances to the females in this bower, offering her a used bus ticket or a bent drinking straw. And she's watching him with keen interest, you know, and he's making this terrible sound that goes <laughs> like that. Oh, wow, that is uh, not a good sound. No. Can we get that one more time? Oh, OK. Come on, get it one more time. Come on, Glenn. And three, two, one, like, go. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> and that's what attracts the girl. So if you're lonely, mate, I'll give it a go. No, I'm going to stay right away and I'm going to leave all this glue <laughs> on the floor. Don't pick it up. It belongs to a bird. It I belongs. just learned. And where there's one member of the family hanging out, there's bound to be a second. What up, cuz? You ready, bro? Down you come. Oh, wow. Glenn, this oh, is that's incredible. Unreal. What Look is at that. this bird? That's the regent bower bird. <laughs> he doesn't collect blue. He likes little uh, brown berries and things, and he builds a small bower, and he whispers sweet nothings. Instead of that terrible love song, he goes, he goes, and he's, he's, she's, she, oh, she's really impressed with his little luck. Uh, your little whisper. Would you, would you like to have one on your hand? Yes, I would. Yeah, OK. You got any money? No, just yeah. joking. No, you shouldn't tell uh, yeah, Hold it between your fingers and oh, thumb. Yeah. Very tight. Here we go. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> this is incredible, guys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and guys, we have not set this up. This is completely he natural. He's out of the bush. <laughs> I know. Here you go, buddy. Wow, who needs extreme action when you've got this little guy? I meant the bird. OK, how good would it be to see a really rare bird to cap off an already amazing day? Like my little segue there, team? Hey, hey, do ya? Quickly. Bye, I'm Whippy. Here you are, bro. Happy come. Look at that. OK, guys, yeah. this is absolutely incredible. I can guarantee you've heard one, but I can also guarantee you've probably never seen one before. Yet Glenn has one eating okay. right out of the palm of his hands. We're talking, of course, about the whip bird. Look at that. It's amazing. It's almost. So, Glenn, this must be a relationship that you have built over many years, yeah. surely. I, I have. And every time somebody says they find a dead whip bird, I come up calling out for him to see if he's around. <laughs> and he comes out of the bush like a faithful little friend. They are from well north of Brisbane, halfway up the east coast of Australia, all the way down to Victoria, and there's none that come to anybody's hand like what you're seeing here right now. It took three years to gain his confidence. 
While you appreciate this incredibly rare moment, you'd probably be keen to know that the call from a whip bird is a call and answer sequence. The male makes the initial whip crack call and the female responds with the chirp chirp. Ah, nature, hey? Well guys, it sure was great seeing so many different species of birds in their natural habitat. Today's bit of action came in a slightly different form and you know what, I was all for it. I think JB has finally proven that he can do a story without complete adrenaline. Oh yeah, I've done it. Hey JB, uh, yeah. you realise you've got to ride the Segway back to base? <laughs> Not falling for that again, Rich, good one mate. Oh man.